Welcome to the short overview demonstration of Evolve FM, facility management software that everyone can use. In the next 15 minutes, you'll learn how Evolve FM can help you manage and share your facilities information with all the different stakeholders in your organization. The first feature that we will look at in this short introductory presentation of Evolve FM is our login screen. Evolve FM is a browser-based application, which means that all you need in order to access all the features of Evolve on your desktop is your browser and a connection to the Evolve FM database. In this demonstration, we are going to log into the application as an administrator so that we can see and show all the features and functions available in Evolve FM. It is important to understand that from a security standpoint, the login controls what information each user can see and edit in Evolve. Once I have logged in, I can see all of the modules available in the application. In this presentation, we will spend most of our time in the drawing module and in the various grids that allow for rapid editing of large amounts of data. When I click on the drawings module, I am brought to a navigation screen showing the various functions available to me. Also, at the bottom of the screen, you can see these icons that allow me to navigate easily between the various Evolve modules. When I come into the drawing screen, you can see that I have my menu selections across the top and various data display windows on the left, right, and in the center of the screen. This screen organization allows for maximum efficiency when querying and displaying facility information. Here on the left side of the screen, I am able to drill down through my data hierarchy to access the building and floor information that I need. When I click on the space plan selection at the bottom of the hierarchy, you can see that the floor drawing displays for me. It is important to understand that the drawings we are looking at are intelligent and reactive. Clicking or double clicking on areas of the drawing result in the appropriate data being displayed in the right hand panel of the screen. Here I am clicking on a particular space in the drawing and you can see the appropriate information about that space being displayed immediately in the right hand panel. If you need more detailed information about the particular space you are working with, you can double click on the space and open up the full database record for that space. Here you can see that the space form is organized so that information is under various tabs on the form for easier access and editing. Keep in mind that I can see all the information on this form because I am logged in as an administrator. A casual user might see many fewer tabs and fields depending on how you set up data access and security for that user. As I click on the various tabs in the form, I can see whatever information is available underneath that tab. You will notice that this particular space is shared by several departments. Evolve FM is able to display that allocation both textually and graphically, as you'll see in a couple of minutes. It is often extremely useful to be able to view a drawing colored and hatched in various themes that display information about occupancy, departmental ownership, asset assignment, or by some of the features useful to you. Here I am showing all the cost centers on this floor themed and hatched so that I can easily understand how the cost centers are assigned on this floor. You will notice that the space we previously looked at is proportionally hatched automatically to reflect the various cost centers that share the space. Here you can see how easy it is to change a particular color scheme and hatch pattern for a particular theme if you need to. Evolve FM is totally flexible in the way it allows you to theme and view drawings to display information in useful ways. Often it is useful to display text on the drawing to identify spaces and the people and assets within those spaces. To do this, all I need to do is to turn the labels on, a selection I can make from the top menu. Now I can see the room numbers and I am able to both edit and reposition the displayed text, in this case the room number. 
also once I reposition or resize a piece of text. Those attributes are remembered so the next time I display this information it will show the way I want it to. And as I zoom in you can see various other information about the space being displayed depending on my zoom level. This zoom dependent display of information keeps the drawing from becoming cluttered. I am also able to turn on the bottom grid which allows me to display information about my spaces, occupants, and assets. You can see here how the drawing interacts with the bottom grid in that a selection made on either the drawing or a line of the grid results in the related information being highlighted in both. In this example you can see the double clicking on a particular record on the grid results in opening the appropriate database record just like double clicking the space on the drawing did. Here you can see that I'm also able to look at occupant and asset information in the grid just as easily as I am able to look at space records. The goal here is to provide maximum convenience to the user for displaying and editing facility related information. The bottom grid also provides searching capability for spaces, occupants, and assets. Searches can be as fuzzy or as specific as you need them to be. In this example, we've done a fuzzy search on the letters HM, and we can see the results of that search here in the left-hand panel. Clicking on any of those displayed records in the left-hand panel lights up the appropriate space on the drawing. You will also notice that the search bar on the top of the grid changed to an orange color, which tells you that you're looking at a filtered set of records based on some defined search criteria. You can also click on a higher level of the data hierarchy in the left panel. The grid will immediately display all the available records at that level of the data hierarchy, floor, building, campus, etc. You can then do a search on that expanded data set and see all the records that fit your search criteria at that level. Clicking on any displayed record in the left hand panel will result in the appropriate floor drawing being opened and the appropriate space being highlighted. Next we are going to look at the drag and drop feature in Evolve FM. Here I've opened my drawing and in my left panel I am displaying a list of people that I might want to assign to various spaces on this floor. I can select and drag a name over to a particular space. The occupant record is displayed along with the various choices for how I can assign them to the space. Evolve FM allows occupants to occupy as many spaces as necessary. You can see that as soon as I drop the person in the space, their information appears in the record in the right hand panel. A unique feature of Evolve FM is its ability to natively manage facility information outside the four walls of the building. Here I am looking at a campus site plan. Objects on the site plan such as parking lots, trees, fire hydrants and other assets can be identified on the drawing and connected to the database records just as they could be on a floor plan. Here I am clicking on a block in the drawing and identifying it as a fire hydrant. That fire hydrant will now become part of the asset database and can be managed just like any other facility asset. Regarding drawings, the user can control what information is displayed for a particular drawing using the layer management tools built into Evolve FM. This feature allows the user to control the visibility of information within the drawing 
to make it as clean or busy as necessary to display the information required in a given situation. It is also easy to create a report in Evolve FM. Simply run the query that displays the information you want to see. Then click on the Open Report button at the top menu bar to display a report. Once it appears on the screen, you can simply send it to your printer. Working within the drawing environment is often the best way to visualize and understand your facility's information. However, when it comes to needing to edit large amounts of data quickly and efficiently, working in grids is much more efficient. Here we are returning to our module selection page and selecting the space module grid to work with. Whenever you open up a module, you'll see the welcome page is displayed on the screen. The welcome page is optional and can be turned off by clicking on the checkbox in the upper left. Once we are in the grid, we have a lot of flexibility to control what fields are available for viewing and what order they appear in. Also, it is important to understand that it is very easy to integrate Evolve FM with other applications when the need arises. Here I have clicked on the major medical center property record and on the map tab within that record. You can see that I am opening up Google Maps and displaying both the map and site information on this address right from Google. Back on the grids menu, working my way across the top menu, I am able to select any of the grids depending on the data I need to edit. Here I am drilling into the space grid, which contains a significant amount of data. I always have the option of double clicking on a particular record to open the data form if I want to edit the data there. However, the grid is much more of an Excel-like format that lends itself to much more efficient data editing. I can control both what fields get displayed on the grid and the order in which they are displayed. Once I have set up a view that I like, I can save it for future use just by giving it a name. Further, I can have any number of views that I want depending on the work that I'm doing at that time. You can also add new records to the database as needed as long as your login gives you the right to do so. Here we can also see another way to show how Evolve FM can integrate with other devices and applications. I am opening up an interface to an environmental control device so that I can change the temperature settings for the space. Being able to easily connect to these kinds of systems can make Evolve very useful to facility and maintenance managers. Evolve FM also has an advanced search feature that allows me to filter information by multiple criteria, which allows me to much more quickly isolate the information that I need to work on. As you can see, the menu bar changes color when I do my search to again indicate that I am looking at filtered data. Once I have the data that I want, I am able to work with it in the grid or print it or export it to Microsoft Excel for manipulation, analysis, or offline mass editing. For many facility management people, Excel is still the tool of choice for quickly editing large amounts of data. Once I've completed the editing my data in the spreadsheet, I am able to easily import that data back into the Evolve FM database. Thanks for taking a look at Evolve FM, facility management software that everyone can use. Please call or email us with any questions you may have. We look forward to talking to you.